Most men live lives of quiet desperation. It's one of my favorite quotes ever because it's true. You're just living in this world where you can't wait to run away. I think most people feel this way because most people live these lives that are deeply unsatisfying. There's so many people working all day doing something that is deeply unsatisfying and it's almost painful. So killing. They're stuck in traffic all day and then they're stuck in a cubicle after that. They relish the time to escape via their phone, via social media, to see what's being caught and who's out there on the water. They literally do that. That's a highlight of someone's day. Then they get back in their cars, get stuck in traffic on the way home. They get home and after that, they're watching TV and they're screwed. If people have a regular day job, if you could just find some one thing you do as a passion project and just keep building on it. Keep watering it, keep fertilizing it, keep giving it attention. Keep giving it focus and you can escape. For me, it was fishing. It was honing my craft and becoming a better angler, but it's time on the water. You can be self-serving. You can be okay. You're going to be okay. Catching fish feels good. Being outdoors feels fantastic, especially after being stuck inside all week. Catching fish is exciting. Harvesting your catch, going home with groceries, watching your family eat today's catch is so rewarding. It feels great to admire the fruits of your labor. Sit back and pre be proud that you did it. It's so satisfying. It recharges you, re-energizes you, so you can get back to your grind, back to your work week. You look at your situation and you tell me, Ruben, I just don't have time to do it. I have bills I need to pay. I have credit card debt. I have to work more so I can pay more. I'm too tired. I have family functions. I have other responsibilities. I'm not saying ignore them. I'm not saying ignore your responsibilities. I'm saying set time aside for yourself. Make plans with yourself and keep them. Don't break them. Do it like your life depends on it. Do it like your life depends on it because it does. Make a schedule and stick to it. You'll be happier, you'll feel more focused, you'll be decompressed, and a scheduled day of fishing will give you something to look forward to. We all need something to look forward to. You have to keep, you have to keep those plans. You have to stay disciplined. Most people don't understand what it is really like to go for something to know that the consequence of not doing that is unacceptable and unbearable let's say you do that you make it through the crap week at work you push through everything you make it out on the water you keep plans with yourself and you don't catch anything you skunk Failure is important. It teaches you things you don't learn from success. Failure gives you an opportunity for self-examination and also gives you a feeling that is very uncomfortable. And that very uncomfortable feeling helps you grow. When I had a bad day of fishing, I take a look at what I could have done different 
what adjustments I could have made because those bad fishing trips motivate me to do better, to think more, to try different areas or different techniques, fish a different style, have a different focus. Those bad days motivated me to give me perspective and clear examples of what I could have done different. Don't look at those failures as proof that you suck. Look at them as opportunities of growth. Look at them as opportunities to be motivated to do better. You have to make mistakes. You've been there, you feel it, you understand what it is, and then you have time to adjust. Those feelings of failure are really critical for your motivation. You see an old person walking down the street, you go, oh, that person's always been old. No, that person was a baby once. A baby that became a 90 year old man. You see someone with a nice stringer of fish, you think, oh, that guy's always catching fish. He was always a great angler. Or it's just that spot he's at. Wrong. That's time on the water. That's learning an area, learning incoming and outgoing tide, learning what works there and what doesn't work there. Which lures to fish under what conditions? There's a progression that you're not witness to. You don't see it. And that takes place in everything. It takes place in people's age. It takes place in an angler. It takes place in guides. It takes place in everything. There's a starting point and with time and focus, as long as you reevaluate, reassess, and consistently, objectively look at what you're doing and then pursue it with passion and focus, you'll get better at it. You'll get better at the things you want to accomplish, like becoming a better angler. Don't be scared of failure. I think failure is awesome for you. And that's one reason why I like doing things that I suck at. I just feel like people need inspiration. They need guidelines. And as long as you could just start moving, just get action, just get movement, and stick to your schedule with yourself, stick to your plan, and don't break them, you'll reach your goals. You'll get time on the water.